Cristiano Ronaldo is facing an issue he would have never imagined he would ever come across as a five-time Ballon d'Or winner, as the top scorer of the UEFA Champions League history and as someone that has been considered one of the best in the world for the better part of the last decade. And that dilemma is not being wanted, not being considered, and being rejected. The market is narrowing for Cristiano Ronaldo after teams like Bayern Munich and Chelsea became new names to the list of clubs that rolled out a move for the Portuguese legend as the Portuguese star continues to beg and plead for a move away from Old Trafford. For the second time in his career, Ronaldo wants out of the club who established his credentials on the world stage. This time though, there doesn't seem to be a Real Madrid waiting with the wings to harness the talents of one of the most talented footballers of his generation. Ronaldo's homecoming to Manchester United a little under a year ago was supposed to represent the final piece of the puzzle at the club, which has struggled to step out of the considerable shadow of their former boss, Sir Alex Ferguson. His 24 goals in all competitions last season showed that even nearing 38 years of age, Ronaldo's goal-scoring instincts remain untouched and unaffected by age. But if this is the case, why is it that no team wants him at all? Bayern Munich were initially interested and talked about their training schedules and regimes and they mentioned that that was something Ronaldo would enjoy. It never happened and they signed Sadio Mane instead. Then there was links to Chelsea and while it seemed possible, they went for Raheem Sterling instead. Then came the outlandish links to Saudi Arabian teams offering Ronaldo a two-year $250 million deal, which reportedly he turned down. So where else could he land? Manchester City aren't an option, given that they recruited Erling Haaland, arguably a better goal scorer and honestly 17 years younger. A transfer to Liverpool will prompt riots in Manchester, Arsenal wouldn't want his wages, Real Madrid's not interested, Juventus, well he's been there and done that, even Paris Saint-Germain, the French club who have money, have resisted the urge of pairing Ronaldo and Lionel Messi in their attack. Ronaldo's desire for Champions League football has left him with limited options. He wants elite football, but does elite football want him? Sporting directors across Europe are sure to have seen Manchester United's implosion after they tried and largely failed to integrate Ronaldo into their team. Sure, goals will come, but at what cost? His age, his attitude in the locker room, his tantrums, his request for special treatment, and the way he walks out of the locker room every time he does not get his way is troublesome for most coaches. What do you think is the reason no one wants Cristiano Ronaldo? We'll read you in the comments, and in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe.